Alrighty guys, welcome back to Project Portsmouth, Season 5, Part 4. Now, um, in the last episode we played against Southampton on the Livecom, 0-0 draw, not too bad. Um, they're struggling this season, but they obviously every game is going to be tough this season. And we've had some patchy form once again. It's uh, we, we can't seem to string any results together in the league. We keep getting you know, a draw, a win, a loss, a draw, a win, loss. I mean, you know, a couple of games, like Man City game, was really unlucky not to get a result out of that. I'll take you through some of the results because we've got a couple of really interesting ones. So, so we played at Everton in the uh, quarter quarter final of the Carabao Cup. Unfortunately, we didn't get the win. We we drew the game. Uh, they equalised later on, and we lost in the penalty shootout. But um, it was a pretty, it's an okay performance. I'm fairly happy. Um, we didn't actually have enough fit centre backs for this game. So we went to a four at the back, and it kind of worked. Um, Kaiser there with a goal, and then a Wobi scored. So, we, we lost some penalties, I'm not going to take you through all the penalties, but we lost, and um, it's a bit of a shame to be honest, but, you know, getting to the quarterfinal is not too bad, I think our expectation for the season was third round, so we did, we did alright. And then after that we played Sheffield United, a 2-1 loss, um, quite disappointing, they got a 94th minute winner, um, Munoz got into getting two goals in this game, and they... They were a better team, to be honest. I don't know what was going on. We just couldn't really get many chances, and that was a bit of a scrappy goal. A good, a good uh, poacher's finish, but uh, you see here Norris over to Hoover, and he smashes it in. What a fantastic goal! But 94th minute from the corner, another scrappy goal. So we got another loss, unfortunately. How are they doing in the league? They are 15th. Okay. So after them, we played Everton again, and we got revenge in the league. Um, 2 1 win. They again, we went 2 0 up in this game. They they brought it back in the second half a little bit. Um, we lost a lot of chance, we didn't have many opportunities in the second half, but we held strong. Some really good individual performances from the likes of Norwich, Garner, uh, Nor Norris, Garner, and Skip. And uh, we ended up getting the win. So Legali here pulling it back. Skip fires it in for his first goal for the club. And uh, here we've got Norris passing into Kaiser Legali. He's just fantastic. He's been injured actually for a few weeks. Um, he's just got injured. I'm not sure if he's going to be ready for the Arsenal game. But yeah, you'll see that them scoring later on. So that's the Everton game. We then played Bournemouth. There's a one all draw. Norris getting his first goal of the season, I believe. And uh, again, we're not creating much chances at the moment. We seem to create less chances with a cam, which doesn't really make sense to me. Um, but here you'll see that late, later on into the game, mid midway through the second half, good goal from Andre Silva. We could should have cleared it better, um, but ultimately, what can you do? It's a one-all draw, another point to add to our season tally. So, nice. Um, also, after we played Bournemouth, we played Notts County in the FA Cup third round. A game we should have been winning. Uh, we did rotate a little bit, uh, not massively. Well, players like Thompson started, Hardly started, Stewart, Devine, Penranda, Asanuma. And we got a 2-0 a win. I was very really disappointed with our first half performance. Although we kind of had loads of shots, we had nothing meaningful. I do think that's part of our problem. I feel like it's, part of me feels like we should test out working the ball into the box. So we'll have less opportunities to be with a nice header. We'll have less opportunities, but hopefully our opportunities will be better. And Thompson with a fantastic ball to Asanuma. It might be worth showing you Thompson, actually, because he doesn't get enough credit. He's 19 years old. And technically, in terms of what you need from a centre-back... Jump in reach 16, head in 14, mark in 13, tackle in 16, position in 13, bravery 17. He's really, really good. The only issues I have with him is 7 passing. And some of these mental stats up here, sort of uh, aggression, anticipation, decisions, concentration, they are quite low for my liking. But everything else I'm fairly happy with, for a 19-year-old anyway. Hopefully he'll be quite good. He's only made, he's made no league appearances, but he's made, uh, obviously, that one cup appearance, so. Um... He's someone to keep an eye on anyway. Uh, and after that, we played Chelsea, and this, I don't know why, I don't know what happened, but we just, on the day, absolutely smashed them. Um, again, well, we only had four shots on target, but we were clinical. Uh, Luakima getting a goal, Kaiser, Nigali, and Ghana from the penalty spot. And we made, it was 3-0, then it was 3-1, then it was 4-1. We just seemed, to, I was a bit worried when we conceded to make it 3-1 that we might struggle. But you'll see here, Luakima with a nice finish from a layoff from Kaiser. Garner puts it over the top towards Kaiser. He runs through, smashes it in. Good on the room, we just can't keep it out. It was so hard, even at him. Lopez with a good delivery, and Legali capitalises from McKenna's header. 
and uh, a good goal from Guerrero, really. Again, we should have cleared it a bit better, but it was a good goal. And uh, after the penalty, that made it 4-1, and that's another victory. We lost 2-0 against United. Really good performance from the lads. I'm really happy of how they played. Fortunately, we just couldn't create anything, but defensively, we were sound. Um, yeah, I was really happy with how we'd played. We still had a couple of people who were slightly... I think in this game, what more was slightly injured. Norris was slightly injured. Uh, so we were lacking a couple of players. Um, like I mentioned already, that we didn't have Leg um, Legali. He's injured for this as well. But both goals came late in the game. 74th minute and 88th minute. One of them was a penalty. I actually thought before the penalty that we had an opportunity. We were getting a couple of highlights. Uh, so obviously the first goal was a corner, so both you know basically set pieces. It was unlucky. We had a good performance, and then we played Wolves um, earlier in the season. We drew nil nil with them, and once again we drew nil nil with them. We just they were better than us in this game. Um, again, we didn't really create much, and uh, that was it really. Nil nil draw. So we actually got Blackpool between the Arsenal and Crystal Palace game. I'm just gonna what I'm gonna do in this episode. I'm gonna play Arsenal. Then we're gonna I'm gonna play Blackpool off camera. Then we'll come back for Crystal Palace. Um, things to show you in the meantime: the league table. We are in eighth. Um, it's very close though, from sort of Norwich upwards, even Wolves upwards, really. And we are as a five-point gap between us and Leicester. Um, I have no, I don't even want to get into Europe this season. Um, maybe by the end of next season we can think about that. But for this season, it's just a case of I've changed my board expectations from avoid a relegation. No, sorry, I've fight bravely against relegation to avoid relegations. We get a couple of extra million in the budget. Financially, we're doing brilliant. We're gaining money all season. Uh, this season we've gained 22 million. Um, we, we're making money basically. You can see here, income per month t from TV revenue alone covers ev all of our expenditure. So I've had, I'd be quite interested to see projection. We're projected to just keep making money. You'll see here, sort of predicted to have 100 million by in two seasons time. Obviously we won't because we'll have uh, big transfers, stuff like that. You can see here our wage budget has gone up quite significantly. Um, massively actually, I didn't realise just how much um, but I have reduced our transfer budget I actually might change that back just a little bit um, because I do want to make a sign-in but unfortunately I'll show you what we've been doing in terms of our um, offers we've been making is there oh we've had, well okay so we have signed someone we signed him on a free, he joins us I think at the end of the season in July he's not fantastic he's got really good physicals he's got a couple of good you know, off the ball work rate dribbling his finishing is really low all right he's a pressing forward but no sorry he's not a pressing forward he's more of a um yeah i guess he's an advanced forward maybe even a cam uh he might be able to play a cam quite well i bought him in just because i think he'll be worth money he's only going to be on i think what like um 12k or something and he'll be worth a lot of money i think but by the time we get him in i imagine he'll be sort of a, f a couple of million so we'll be able to make profit off him even if we never even use him so that's the only thing we've actually done in terms of transfers confirmed we've not really been very successful i've been looking and I, I promise you i've spent like probably about close to about an hour looking for for players um fortunately we've not been able to find anything i've been looking if we go to so there's a couple of players we search, search by value so mayor leader He's listed for 16 and a half million. I've made an offer. He doesn't want to join. He's on high wages. Um, and we might be able to negotiate that down, but he wasn't interested. Unfortunately, uh, John Philip Mateta, another player who we tried to get, uh, but he is not interested in negotiating. Uh, you see, all right, do you know what? Let's give it another go. What do they want for him? They want 16 and a half million. Can we offer that? Okay, uh, let's just, okay, let's just offer it. See what happens. Uh, obviously we can't get Troy Parrott, we can't get Almada because they're on loan and after that we're really struggling to find players better by the time we get to this point. This guy's pretty good but again his finishing is quite low and I don't think it's his leading championship level. He's one of those players that we could buy but I don't think we'll ever be able to make our money back on him. And we've got Barbosa who I really wanted this guy. This guy would be fantastic. He's, low, he's listed for 7.25 million, we've made an offer Obviously they accepted it, and he was not interested in negotiating. And after that, we're really struggling. I mean, we've got players like William DaCosta that I think could be really good. Again, though, you know, his finishing is quite low, and it could let us down. 
Um, I think it might be worth trying to get this guy. I do think he's a very good player. But I don't know if we're going to have enough money right now. Oh, wait. He would fail to meet. So we can only... Wait, hang on. Submitting this offer with a guaranteed fee of 11 million should be enough. Okay. I'll tell you what then. Let's try and get this guy. Let's go for 11 and a half up front. Um... Put some international appearances in there because it always butters them up. Um, and I guess maybe 2.5 2 million, 2 million. Let's go with that. Let's put uh, percentage of profit next sale, lock in at 10%. 24 million. Um, Twenty-three million. East. They're still wanting a bit more. Twenty-one. Okay, just make the offer. Let's see what he wants. Wages. He might want a lot of wages, but we'll see what he says. Um, a couple of players again. This guy's fantastic, but he's going to cost a fortune. I would actually wouldn't mind loaning him in, but to be honest, when I compared. Uh, we can't. We only have two domestic loans. And when I compared him to, who's the guy who bought in from Liverpool? Well, I can't remember his name. Why am I struggling here? What's his name? I, I know who it's. Oh, Kaiser. Um, there's not much difference to be honest. You can see technically Kaiser's slightly better. Maybe he's got a few better mental stats, Charlton. But I don't think it's really worth doing a switch for them two. Um, but yeah, and then when we get down here, we're starting to, you know, the, the quality dramatically drops off when we get to sort of this stage. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to, to do anything of any real note. Bruce is not half bad. Um, I wonder how much they reckon he'd cost. So actually quite cheap. But do we want to go for him when he's probably not that much better than what we've got? And for me, okay, Bruce is actually quite a bit better than Kaiser. And actually, he's quite cheap. He's only going to cost us, I don't know, has he only got a year left in his contract? Why is he so cheap? That is strange. Is he transfer listed? Should we, should we try it? Should we try it? Because he is quite good, you know. Um, let's go for... 5 million. Lock in 10%. How about that? 16 million. That went up massively from what they said it was going to cost. Said it might cost 6.5. Uh, at this point, I'm now debating. I don't think that's really worth it. How about 8? No. 9.5. Okay. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go to that. Make a non negotiable offer 10.75. See what they come back with. Um, I wonder if there's any, there's not, so this guy actually isn't too bad either, he's actually, he's, his physicals are okay, not spectacular, his mentals are okay, not spectacular, pretty good uh, physical stats, but like, this is one of those guys that's just going to cost a fortune for us, I, I don't think we're going to be able to afford him, but I'm going to make an offer, 12 million up front, let's go for, after international appearances we'll give you a Three and a half mil. Installments will go for, I don't know, five mil. 4.5 mil. And then 10% sell on fee. Let's see what they say. They might not be interested in negotiating. That's 39 million. There's no chance, mate. I'm not going to pay 39 million for you. You probably won't improve that much more. So, um, we've got Brenner. Now, this guy's looking at as well. Another decent player. We've not fully scouted him yet, but we are looking at him. Um, I think this guy could be quite good, but we've only got a week left of scouting. I'll see how he comes in, and if he comes in good, then we might get him. He's going to need a high wages, but he is a uh, good Premier Division level, and he's not going to cost us an absolute bomb. So we'll see what comes out of him. I realise we've been talking on for ages, so uh, let's get the team sorted for the game. Uh, yeah, basically we haven't made any signings. That's basically where I'm going with that. Um... Now, Legali is still injured. He's returning to training tomorrow. 
Uh, Penranda has been promised more game time, but he just has not performed when he's been given the opportunity. He's got one assist in six games. Obviously, only three starts, but really, really poor. I do want to try and sell him on if I can. But we'll wait. We're not going to sell him on yet, of course. Um, so, who's going to come out? Lopez is going to come out for close in this game. Um, Nor Devine's going to start over Norris, not Thompson, though. Um, Luakim is going to start over Hoover. And I think if he's fit, Watmore's going, yeah, Watmore's going to start over Hardly. He's going to go back onto the bench. So, do we go with that team? I think we do. Um, I do think, though, that maybe we go with a, with a Cam, mainly because I don't like Asanuma. I've I've made some poor decisions when it comes to the striking department, unfortunately. Don't... Mm, we're going to go Shadow Striker for Byers. I made a few poor decisions, but, you know, it wasn't, wasn't my intention. I, they just seemed to look quite good. And then my... Well, my scouts were pretty poor. Scouts are slightly better now. I've got in a couple more extra, extra scouts. They're better than they were. They're still pretty bad, though. But at least they're in the sort of the top half of the table ish um so i've been rambling for way too long let's get into the game okay so let's go to the um team talk i don't expect to win um so assertively we've got nothing to lose let's show them what we're capable of capable of we have facing them facing them oh, why can't i speak today go out there and make a difference come on lads I just want to see a good performance. You don't, you don't mind if we lose this one, but if we can play well, that'll be good. So we won, we sort of won the ball back, and we've lost it. Vasharan runs through and goal, and Elmac makes a good save. Elmac's decent, but I do think he's someone we want to look to upgrade at some point. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. He's not my number one priority. Obviously, a striker, maybe an attacking midfielder, would be my number one priority. And then Elmac, upgrading Elmac is probably my next, my next choice. But we've started really poorly here so far. Um, we defend, obviously we defended well, but we're giving them too many opportunities. And I do think maybe we need to... I'm going to try working the ball into the box. We don't really do that very often. Lower that tempo just a little bit. See what happens. Got to deal with a corner first from Sigankov. Okay, they've got Phil Foden. Playing him quite deep. As well as playing for now. It's quite an interesting choice. And Ketia looks like it might be their first choice striker. Is he their first choice? He is. Done alright actually. You know, eight, 19 appearances, 9 goals, 2 assists. Not too bad. 53 million. Jeez. Yeah, he's pretty good. Let's get back to the game anyway. So I do expect us to have less shots with working the ball into the box. But hopefully our shots will just be more clinical. All right, so it's still no nil. Um, not enough touch it touches in the ball in the penalty area. Struggle possessions in the opponent's half. Do you know what? I'm actually going to switch it up again. Uh, I appreciate their efforts. Yeah, I do. I'm going to go back to the striker. Um, but we're going to bring on Asanuma as a pressing forward, and we're going to take off work the ball into box and put a hit early crosses. Um, and play a bit more like that. Hopefully. Take off regroup as well. Yeah. Bring our line of engagement down. I'm just trying to think things through as I'm going. Uh, I'm not talking as much as I should be. Considering you know I'm recording a video. But I'm just thinking. like, What can we do to make an impact into this game? I'm probably going to lose more possession this way. But hopefully... We can just whack the ball up the field. So Yankov from the corner, can we deal with it? We can, but it's still an opportunity to cross it back in. And they're working it around nicely. Zielinski over to Vasharin. We've won the ball back. Now we need to make an opportunity. So Kaiser runs through on goal. Now he runs through on goal, should I say. Kaiser, good save from Leno. Looks like Devine's picked up a little another knock. So we're going to bring him off for Norris. Um, and I'm actually going to change his back to complete wing backs on support. Might be a bit brave, but we're going to do it. Like I said, we should, we're probably going to end up losing possession. Lukima, for some reason, has an actually terrible game. I don't want to use my last sub on him, do I? Yeah, I do. So Hoover's going to come on for the last 15 minutes. 
can we create something here, lads? They've got a free kick. We need to deal with it. We sort of do. But in catches. Oh, we do. Okay, so we've got an opportunity to counter-attack. Kaiser here. Yeah, Yas Newman's offside. He's gone through and he scored. What a, oh, what a fantastic way to go. Right, now, <laughs> now we time waste. Now we time waste. We don't hit early crosses. We regroup. We, we hold shape. We slow pace down. We... I don't really care how we distribute it. Just don't. Just, just short. And uh, let's, yeah. Okay, fine. We're one nil up. Don't panic. We're one nil up. I'm gonna change to wing backs on defend as well. Uh, yeah. Mick, call, call me, uh, you know, savage or whatever you want to call me, but not savage. Uh, pussy, scared. I don't know what you want to call me. I just need to. This would be fantastic. And who's on the free kick? Oh, I think he's just oh, just over the bar or hit the bar. Can we hold on for a win? They've got another, they've got a highlight here. Although, you know, our goal side with their highlight. We've nicked it. Hoover's nicked the ball and he's given it away. All we needed to do was hoof it up the field, really, there. And uh, they've got an opportunity. It's gone through. What a save from El Mac. I thought it might have been offside, but it wasn't. And El Mac saved us there. And they've hit it just over the bar. Can we hold on, lads? Let's go! 1 0 win over Arsenal, my favourite team. And that is mental. We've now narrowed the gap to two points over Leicester. I can't... That is really impressive. I'm really happy with the team. Uh, that was really special, lads. Congratulations. What a performance. El Mac was phenomenal in that game. What a player. Um, defeated of four to five weeks. That is a shame because we've only really got two players who can play that position. Which is a shame. Galbraith... But Galbraith's awful. We're going to sell him. Uh, he's only contracted to the end of this season. We might even let him go on a free. I'd rather not, but I don't think we're going to get any money for him. It's a shame, really, because I, I thought he'd be really good, but he's just not. Uh, Kaiser, good performance. Good goal. Love that. Yeah, Mateta's not interested in negotiating. Barbosa's not interested in negotiating. Da Costa is slightly interested in negotiating. Um, let's see what we can do with him. He wants... Oh, he's going to want a lot of wages. Okay. What do we think of him? His finishing's really low. He wouldn't be a bad deep line forward, actually. Really good teamwork. Good passing and vision for a deep line forward. He is good. Let's negotiate. Obviously he's going to be star player. We want him immediately. Right. I mean instantly I'm, I'm turned away by that. We'll bring this down to 5%. Match her highest earner clause. We can leave that in because he is the highest earner so that's fine. I'm probably happy with that release clause. Let's just up it a little bit. Let's change that to 2025. Uh, yeah, you're asking for way too much money, mate. You've got to be uh, a little bit of leeway here. I guess we can adjust our budget slightly. Hmm. Can we go up a little bit higher? We can. I'm going to lock in his wage. Um, okay, he's agreed it. Whether uh, It's a lot of money. Uh, I don't like changing the wage structure too much. Obviously, we did it with a couple of our players. That would be a massive increase uh, on what we already have. But we may we need to make a change we're not scoring enough goals obviously to be we have too many strikers i don't know we have too many strikers so i'm not sure what we need to do um a couple of goalkeeper that could be quite good but he's not interested in joining all right what we're gonna do is i'm gonna basically uh brewster 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 can we compare him to the guy who was the guy we just de costa See, when you look at this, 
Bruce is probably marking, penalty taking, tackling. Okay. Better mental stats. I don't know. In terms of the difference in price, what it's going to cost us, wage-wise, I feel like... 11.5 million. We're going to try both. See if Bruce is interested in negotiating. He's not interested in negotiating. Okay. That's fine. I'll let you know if we get any more update. Otherwise, I'll meet you for the... Uh, what game are we playing? The Crystal Palace game.